Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm Keikami and today we're going to be continuing our Let's Play series in the game Palea. If you're enjoying this series, please don't forget to like this video and consider subscribing to my channel for more of my videos and streams. So, oh my gosh, this is our 50th episode. I can't believe it. I really can't believe we've actually have been have been playing this for for such a long time. I feel like uh, we still have a lot more to do, and obviously this house needs a major makeover. But uh, yeah, this is exciting. This is really exciting. So we are going to, let's get this garden going. Let's see how much money we can bring in, or how much gold we can bring in. And then we will um, Take the time today. We're gonna finish up um, Ashura's friendship quest. And I think we got a couple more that are close to being unlocked. So we're gonna finish up, round out some uh, friendship requests or friendship quests, I should say. And then I don't know what we're gonna do. We gotta figure something else out after that. Um, yeah, so I guess I should take a look here first. Hold on. We should take a quick look. What do we need to do first? Let's do, let's do wheat first. Sorry. Before I get to just talking and about everything, did we not? Okay. All right. <laughs> but yeah, I can't believe it's been 50. I remember when we first started this game, I was brand, brand new to streaming. Or not streaming, but uh, making videos. Because we actually just had our first stream here recently. And so that's been going kind of well. It's entertaining. I've been having a lot of fun with it. It's been really great to interact with everybody and stuff. And yeah. But I remember when we started and we were barely scraping by with like four gold to our name, right? And now look at us. We got this house. We got the some gold, I uh, say all, not all the gold, but we got quite a bit going here. So I'd say we're doing pretty, pretty darn well. So let's see. Okay, we'll do rice next. I think the hardest part of today is going to be turning over this garden. No, oh, we got one more right there. Okay. We gotta figure out, we got something off in this garden. I know we do. I was thinking about revamping it. Like completely revamping it for the um, bok choy and the Napa cabbage. It kind of threw a little monkey wrench into our, into our system here. And I'm thinking one of these days, I'm gonna have to, whoops. Oh my goodness, we did bad. <laughs> Come on, we want rice. Eight. Rice. One of these days we gotta really go back into the, uh, the, the changer, or the garden planner, and try to figure out what we, what we want to do. So we got a bok choy and a napa cabbage. Shoot. Let's grab the napas first, I guess. I believe these are gonna be the ones on the sides. Yep. Okay, there's one. There's two. But we gotta start looking at what brings in the most gold. I think we need to start optimizing. We're getting close to where our cooking is almost done. And so what I'd like to start doing is updating this uh, garden to be more, more of a gold mine, you know instead of just the, the crops that we need to make the food to get the achievements. So we gotta start thinking about that. So, we'll get there. It's just more of a, hmm, how are we gonna make that work? Let's see, we need two of these. And then I think we'll do, we'll grab the corn next. Okay. Oops. Totally went the wrong way with that. There we go. But 
Yeah. So I'm thinking of maybe even doing a um, 100 hours video because I think with 50 episodes that kind of, did I just, no, okay. I was thinking of, um, you know, it's been a, goodness, we've put in about 100 hours into the game and I think it would be kind of good to look at that, you know, kind of give like a 100 hour review. So I am kind of thinking about that, more to come, but yeah. There's this one. There we go. Look at all this, all this stuff. I guess I didn't uh, really reset this too well last time. As far as the seeds, I betcha, betcha the seed producers are doing their job. Let's, yeah, we'll put all this away. Let's grab, what are we going to grab next? We'll get our two carrots, we'll get our two onions next, since I know those two are there. Oh, I was going to do potatoes, that's what I was thinking of. There's the onion, where'd they go? There they are, six. There we go. Our carrot. There's that one. We'll do the carrot again since we're right here. And we got a carrot. Yeah, see, I don't know if some of these are really worth doing. We're going to have to take a look at this. Especially for... We're going we're to start working on profits. I think that's going to be important. We'll do potatoes next. But that's okay. We'll, we'll get there. We will get there. Next episode. <laughs> Come on. There we go. There we go. And some of those. There we go. One second. Oh, excuse me, real quick. Yikes. I'm gonna need a drink here real fast. One second. Oh, much better. Much, much better. I've been talking too much lately. There we go. And more taters. Get this done. Then I think we've got tomatoes next. And I think it's just our our big stuff. Let's see if these guys are gonna Ah, we're good. Oh, we do have cotton yet. We should grab some cotton seeds. We'll get the two cotton seeds. And let's see, they would be under um, two. There we go. Get these guys done. Then we'll take a look at our peppers and our um, blueberries. And the apple tree should be fine, I think. Oh, we're good there. Oh, we do need peppers. Okay. And the peppers here. Awesome. Let's get the peppers here. Boom, 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 boom. Sure, sure. Let's go here and let's find two of those. There we go. And then we get the fertilizer again. 
There. And five. There we go. And the fertilizer here. Grab our apples. All right, I think we're finally ready to water this mess. I think everything on here. I think we just replaced literally the whole entire garden. Hopefully we're, we get a good profit out of this. Or at least we're able to, you know, make some decent stuff out of it. But yeah, we really do gotta start looking at more gold making and profit stuff for later game. We did do one for the beginning of the game, and yeah. We gotta look at late game stuff. It's fine. Boop. There's that. And I think that is everything. Okay. Let's open this up. There we go, we'll put all this away. And let's see, what are we dealing with here? Nothing in that one. We got some rice seeds here. Got a lot of them. Okay. Or wheat, I should say. I'm gonna put the rest of it in there. Hopefully we can actually keep up with uh, some of the production. Yeah, way too much rice. That's okay, four, eight, and let's see what else is in here. All right, so seed-wise, we need some potatoes. We need two potatoes. One, oops. There, one, and where's the other one? Where'd they go? Right there, okay. Two. <laughs> okay, this one here needs, we got potatoes, we're doing good there, corn. Goodness. Corn is gonna need at least two. Two, okay. And this one. Mm, I think we're gonna make the peppers. So how many peppers do we need? One? Really, one pepper? No, it takes more than that. Two, three, four. There we go, four peppers. Whew. So we need to figure out, we got our rice and our, let's get this up to 20. And our wheat needs to get up to 20 as well. Oops, there we go. That is back up to snuff. We got some blueberry jam. I think we're gonna make some more apple jam. We got some pickled potatoes. I think we're gonna do some tomatoes. We got, what is this, corn? Okay, we may actually put some more corn in there. We'll do another round of corn. And this is spicy peppers. And let's see, this time, oof. We could do peppers. There's only 28 though, we could do blueberries again which wouldn't be a bad thought. I think we do blueberries again. There we go. All of those are going. We probably need to make some more of those just to keep everything going, but. There we go. So about 12,000, not bad. 12,003, that'd be what, 698? <laughs> 888, 888, yeah. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. So we're gonna eat some more food because we need to remember to do that. I'm gonna slide that guy over, okay. So that is done. Let's see what our Kitsu had for us. He's got us some chop of meat. That we're gonna save, I guess. I guess we'll save the chop of meat. Do we have any mail? No mail. All right. Let's see, what did Ashura's quest have? A Century in the Making Part Two. what is this? No, we don't want that. You have found it, another unmarked package in another tempting pile of dirt. 
At least, this one at least doesn't smell like a Chapa's nightmare. Better see what's inside. Open the mystery package. Oh, we got a mystery package. And then we need to talk to Ashura. Okay. So, let's go inventory. Is it here? Can we open it? We can. Egg? <gasps> Ooh, maybe we got another egg. For, uh, Breath. Find the owner of the egg. Bet you it's gonna be Wrath. So we'll have to wait for him to kind of come back here. Let's see. Is Ashura awake? It looks like it. Maybe we try to talk to him now. Maybe we can catch him before he... He usually works what? Nights? I think he works nights. I think we'll be good. Breath is asleep. Yep, there's Asura. Or Asura. Glad you're not too busy to stop by. Good to see you again. So you heard back from your son. So he got his letter back. Or a letter from his son. So fingers crossed it's really good news. Yes, it was quite the letter. Well, what did it say? He wants to know what I did in the war. I had thought he might ask that, but I prayed he'd wait until after we got to know each other again. That's okay. The things I need to explain to him are, aren't easy things to explain. Mm -hmm. Do me a favor and leave me alone with my thoughts for a moment. I have a lot to think about. Okay. But before you go... Nauru sent me this Ormu's horn mount for the inn. Okay. I don't drink much these days. I thought maybe you'd like to take it. Hey, we got an antler mount. That was it? Oh, I thought we'd get at least a little something else. I don't want to tell you what happened during the war, but I can't for... I want to tell you what happened during the war, but I can't force myself to do it. At least not today. Okay. Take it easy, friend. Either he ran away scared, or he did something really unthinkable and awful. Aww. Well, I guess... Let's see. Let's talk to Delilah, Sifu, and Hassan, since we do need to talk to these guys. These days I see you more than me own boys. The boys keep telling me to take a break, but who has time for that? Today's been quite the grind, but I still look forward to waking up and giving it another shot tomorrow. Hopefully we'll be seeing more of you around the farm. Ah, I Sifu. was just thinking about you. Can't sleep? Me neither. There's too much to do to spend life in a bed. I never have to worry about Hassan when I stay up working like this. He prefers to sleep outdoors as opposed to in his room after all. all See right. you later. And then there's Hassan. Stop second-guessing yourself and speak. Speak quickly. Please leave me be. No respectable paleon should be awake at this hour. That wasn't so bad. So I why suppose. are you up? Tow. Woof woof. Sniff sniff. Sneeze. Oh. Tow rubs his face with his palms. Oh man. No idea where you're going, buddy. But okay. Hmm. So let's take a look at our relationships here. We should be really close to at least another person. Hello, so we did. Hi, Nar. Kenyatta's getting close. Sifu, yeah, we gotta keep talking to Sifu. Maybe give her an antler horn? And then, uh, yeah, there's Sifu. And then Zeki, ooh, Zeki. Let's go talk to Zeki. We can go to the underground and see what he has for sale as well. And we can buy something from his shop, which you know we're gonna need. So let's grab, I'm gonna grab flour actually. Purchase, maybe a butter, maybe a milk. We need some stuff, sure. I'm calling it good. Eggs, butter, and milk. We got the staples down, right? Just the basics. <laughs> Oi.
There are tons of fish in Palea, but some only swim in certain waters. That's true. Hmm. There's Zeki. Let's see what else we have. This is a cool rug. <gasps> Ooh, I like this rug. Industrial one isn't too bad either. Industrial is small. I think we're going to go for this Bellflower rug. I'm going to grab that. What else do we have here? Homestead icebox. The tech fan. This guy. Okay. I think we're good. Another Let's day, chat. Another chance for freedom. What do you want? Have you seen Wrath of Realm? That boy owes me a delivery or three. Yeah? I'm feeling fancy today, and that calls for a feast. Some fresh oysters go down real smooth. I'll see you soon, all right? Hmm. I don't think that got us there. Did it? Did we max at her? No. Ah. We got one more. All right. Is Wrath over here? Hey, Rath, guess what? I guess I can take a little break. Hey, you. This has to be yours. This is that, uh, the mystery egg. Hmm. Batch number 209. I knew I should have written down where I buried that one. Wait. Oh. Do you smell that, Kekami? Mmm, all I smell is soup. Sorry, that's me. But you don't smell rotten eggs, right? <sighs> Which recipe did I use for this one? One sec, let me check my notes. So you have notes on the recipe, but not where you buried them. Clay and rice clover, a little bit of lye, buried near the geyser. Ah. That's it. Ha! Take that, Egg Palace. Take that, Egg Palace. Your secrets are revealed. Hmm. Thanks for finding this, Keikami. Give me a bit to figure out the details, and I'll give you that sample I promise. Sweet. I learned cooking from my dad. He didn't cook often on account of work, but when he came home with a basket full of groceries, we knew we were in for a treat. Days like this, when there's a slight chill in the air, I always get a hankering for good old-fashioned tomato soup. I can't talk more right now. For the... reasons. All right. What do you have here? Lettuce soup, steak dinner, potato, boyabase, that's all rats. Ooh, gourmet dessert plate. Really? We can make? <gasps> Ooh, we found some recipes. We're gonna buy these. We're gonna buy the mug. And we're gonna buy the gourmet pot pile. Ooh. Complete a century in a making part two. Well, I don't think we're there yet. Yeah, look at that. I like it. We found some more dishes. Got any new goods no. for me? No. Let's circle I wanted to check you. your uh, thing, your shop. What do you have? Got the wallpaper, which I'm really curious. We got the other recipes. Okay, good. Let's head back. Oh, whoops. Guess we gotta go this way. Hmm. 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 I think one more chat with uh, Zeki, and we got his uh, quest unlocked. Sifu, we may have to get Sifu something. We'll have to see what all she wants. Or something that's at least doable, you know? Maybe she like a copper bar. I think she likes those. We'll go around. There we go. Let's go, let's check the chopa pile. Then we'll head home. I think this is the way the chopa pile. Yeah. Let's see if we can find it real quick. And if so, that would be great. How many bug, we only have four bug. We need to make more bug bombs too. We see it over there. Nope, that's just copper. We'll go this direction first. Nothing over there. Hmm. 
<laughs> Bug scurrying down there. Sorry. Just checking. Looking. Probably more than what I need to, but that's okay. Is it over there? Do we see it glowing out there? I do not. Okay. No. Check these little cliffs here. Make sure nothing's hiding over there. Okay. That means it might be over by the ruins. So we'll kind of make our way this direction. We'll see what we can find. There it is. It was over there. It was just hiding behind this copper that we couldn't see. All right, we got this. And we just got copper ore. Bummer. Thought we'd get something good. I mean, I guess it's good, but still. Got trees. All right, let's head home. And we will, oh, there's Zeki, he's heading to bed. We'll catch him in the morning cycle, I guess. Shane's up for his early morning walk. We are gonna drop all this stuff off. We're gonna make, we're gonna grab a copper bar for Sifu. Get her gold. <laughs> and then we'll see where we're at. But I think that'll, that'll be good. That'll be really good. Then we gotta figure out who's, who's next on our list, huh? Let's grab a copper bar. I just need one. One, thank you. We'll see what our good friend here's got for us. Some gold, ooh, we like gold. Gold is always good. We're just gonna move it over here. We're gonna move this over there. Yeah, I think we're good. Let's see what this uh looks like. Three. <gasps> ah! Squee! It's the big ol' it's the horns from uh the inn. Oh, I wish I could put them dead center up above. Don't think I could place them on there either. I think it's just too large. Aww. We got our horseshoe right there. We can't put it there. We could put it right there. <laughs> yeah, we gotta make our house larger. We have a, uh, a house sizing issue here that really needs to be uh, addressed. Maybe that's what we do. Ooh, do we buy some new rooms for the place? That could be fun. Don't want it hanging over the thing though. Hmm. Would love to put it up over the fireplace. See here it'd feel a little bit better at least. Yeah, I want to hang it up. Hmm. Yeah, I guess it's gonna have to go on this wall. We'll set it there for right now. I'm not a fan of that spot. Whoops, butter, sugar, eggs, and what is this? Oh, the bell, our rug. That's right, we got a rug. Let's take a look at our new rug. Seven. Ooh, it is bigger. Does it go better with those colors? 
Yes, we're using that. Okay. Uh, pick up the industrial rug. Let's go seven with our bellflower rug. Yes. Better yet, can we dye it? What would it take to dye it? What colors can we dye it? Can we even dye it? Yes, we can. So we got normal. That looks kind of cool. Classic looks cool. We go red, purple, pink and green, blue. Maybe we go classic. Modification zero of four. So, oops, nope, we're not gonna do that again. Zero of four. So, we need, hold on, I need to write something down real quick. Sorry, we need to, let's get some modification kits. Yes, we're gonna do this. Well, maybe the other color, maybe that color would look better with that furniture set. You know what, maybe we'll just put it back and we'll just look at it. Maybe we'll do that instead. I think we're gonna have to. I think I think we're gonna do it that way. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be putting you guys through load screen hell here. I just can't make up my mind. <laughs> this is what happens. Alright, yeah, let's do this instead. Come on. There we go. Seven. Boom. Let's put this guy down. I like this. I like that this kind of fits everything too. Perfect, okay. We will take, where can we put this? Can we put this rug in here? Ooh. Could kind of do that. Can put it there, okay. No, wait, yeah, there. Let's do that. I mean, it kind of blends in, but I mean, it's a thought for right now. Looks a little bit better than what, than nothing. All right, let's give Sifu the, oh, we got message. Wrath, dear Kikami, I figured out how I wanted to prepare these bad boys, and I thought you'd be the perfect person to try them. If you ever crave any more, just drop by my bar and I'll make sure to keep them in stock. But don't worry, first taste is free. Yay! Century in the Making Part 2 completed. And for Zeki, we got a coin. All right. Can we try it? Where's our egg? How much, uh... 150. You know what? Let's do it. Three. There we go. We had a century egg. <laughs> I thought maybe we'd get something for it, but I guess not. Okay. Let's head over. Let's head over and use Zeki's coin. It might still be too early for him. Ass sure we talked to already. Three, two, one. What did we get? We got rice seeds that we are promptly going to sell. And sell that stack. Good. Why? Because they are not star quality. That would be our reasoning why. 
Let's wait and find Sifu. Sifu, are you up yet? Oh, yeah, she is. There she is. Let's go find her. I wonder where she's going. Is she going to fish? No, she's over here by these ruins. I wonder why she comes over here. I think this is an interesting. Maybe this is where she sits to write her book. I don't know. Here to cause some trouble. Great to see you. Hey, I got you something. Would you like a copper bar? This will make a fine looking piece. Nicely done. Did you mine this yourself? I did. And we got Fierce Friend. Next time, stay longer. All right, so we got Sifu's friendship request. Or friendship level four quest. Here we go. Okay, Kami, good news. So Larry decided to carry my memoir under the fiction section because of the whole confusion about the Gorgon ape, but still, hey, that's great. <sighs> Unfortunately, Hassan's uh, just a little peeved by the whole thing. I was wondering if you could talk to him for me. Uh, sure. Some things sound better coming from someone who isn't your mom, you know? Okay. You're a pretty good listener. Uh oh. Son doesn't like uh, his mom writing those kind of books. It's kind of funny. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> That is really funny. Uh, let's see, is Hassan making his way over here yet? Heckless of Mirror Ponds. I think it's too early. I think everyone's still waking up. Where are we? Let's go talk to Einar. Maybe we'll catch him a fish real quick. He needs a fish. And we'll wait for Hassan to kind of wander into this side of the town. That or we can go over there, talk to Najuma, Tamala. That's a thought too. Hmm. <laughs> So Tish's question mark, that's for her to be our chef, but I think we can con we can talk to anybody for that. So. Are you here to see the froggy bucket? Mm-hmm. Salutations. Old rune workings have awakened in the village. I sense this is just the beginning of such occurrences. Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. It's looking for a fathead minnow. Let me know if you spot one. I shall regale you with my fishing exploits. Let's go this, and maybe we'll get lucky. Let's see what we can catch here real quick. Let's see if we can still remember how to catch things. It's been a while since we've had to fish. One. An alligator eel. Nice. Hey, Einar, you want an alligator eel? Today is a good day <laughs> for engaging in the oneness. It appears as if someone is speaking to me. How odd. Would you like one of these? This has a pleasing shape. Thank you. You're welcome. I shall regale you with my fishing exploits. I love a froggy bucket. <laughs> froggy bucket. <laughs> it's so cute. All right, let's go talk to Hassan. I believe he just entered into the zone. He might be wandering down the path. There he is. Yep. We'll see if we can, uh, we'll see what he has to say. Hey, buddy. We have much to discuss. 
I must admit, I was hoping you would come see me. I've been thinking of our last visit fondly. Hey, so why are you mad about your mom's book? Does my mother always have to send a human to do her job? Aren't you glad to see me? I don't mean to be rude. I know you're only trying your best, but this argument is between me and my mother. Ah, <sighs> this will end up faster if you just tell me why you're upset. I'll just say, but your mom worked so hard on the book. Doesn't matter how long she worked on it. It was disrespectful. Mother lied about how she met Mama. Just to make her life sound more adventurous. Ooh, really? So he calls them both mother or mom. That's interesting. Just to make her life sound more adventurous. Oh, how did they meet then? They always knew each other since they were kids. Mother and Mama grew up, grew up in the same village, but they were hunting partners and best friends before they married. Their love was built on mutual respect, not on cardinal longing or however Mother wants to portray it. You must really miss Talon. Mother and I have always struggled to be close, but things with Mama are different. She taught me how to hunt. She knew the value of sometimes just being quiet instead of always having to talk. I always knew I could rely on her until... Until what? My mothers were... My mothers were bounty hunters. They were assigned to kill a monster that was threatening a nearby village. And the entire village they were sworn to protect ended up dead. Ooh. The monster Mama claimed to have killed was spotted leaving the site. Uh-oh. Our people said she lied about killing the monster to get the reward. Mama said the monster died and then somehow regenerated itself. My mother stood by her and we were kicked out of the village as a result. But words of our actions spread and no other village would take Mama. Aww. So she went to clear her name by killing the beast. She did not come back. Oh no. I don't know what to think. On one hand, I understand why she wanted to clear her name. She was an honorable woman. I would have done the same. On the other hand, it's hard to accept that she had to get herself killed to do it. Oh. Well, that's awfully sad. That wasn't so bad, I suppose. <sighs> wasn't so bad. My goodness. Sniff, sniff, woof. Take care of him, Tao. Aww. Alright, let's go return to Sifu. Whee. Oops, not where we want to go. Let's go talk to Sifu. I don't know if we mentioned anything to her or not. This would really... This would be painful. Always good to see a friendly face. How's life treating you? So, I talked to Hassan about your book. Huh? And did you find out why he's got his knickers in a twist? <laughs> Probably the laundry. Actually, it's because he lied. So I took a few liberties. What's the big deal? Oh, it probably has to do with Thailand. I knew her growing up. I didn't meet her in the Dari jungle. And I didn't meet her in the Dari jungle. And since she and Hassan were very close, he probably somehow sees that as a, betra as a betrayal. Aww. Since she died, we haven't really made time to talk about her. Really? You guys probably should. I've wanted to, I just don't know how. Mm, I get it. When Hassan was a boy, he used to always play with Talon's old bow. Ah. I still have it, but it could use a few repairs. 
Maybe you should give it to him or repair it up for him. Huh? I know they're a little rare, but I've been wanting to try out some dispel arrows. I'd love to see what they do on some of the nastier things lurking around. Go okay. get him out there. Huh. Interesting. Oh, memoir blues. Maybe we get the infused planks and the silk thread. Okay. Let's do it. Let's fix this bow. I feel like we have to, right? We really, really got to. I mean, even before we talk to Zeki. Oops. I keep trying to zoom out. <laughs> yeah, poor Hassan. My goodness. Just... Oh, I can't believe it. Well, I can, but it's just sad. Sad all around. All right, so he needs five flow-infused planks. What do we got? And ten pieces of silk. Ooh, that's a lot of silk. Okay. Oh, silk thread. Whew. Guess what? We don't need the actual silk. <laughs> Thank goodness. Where's our silk thread? There. That'll work. Return to Sifu. And let's sell the napweed. There we go. Let's see if this helps. Can't get any worse, right? There we go. She's probably heading back to her forge. Perfect! I'll give Hassan the bow over dinner tonight. I can't tell you how much this means to me that you wanted to help. But I can always try. In fact, I whipped you up a little thank you gift while I was waiting on the materials. Well, you're very welcome. If you ever need a hand, let me know. Ooh, we got a sword for our wall. Hmm. Let's go talk to Zeki. We're gonna unlock his quest. Then we're gonna go and, I don't know, we will try to fear. We'll unlock it first, we'll put the sword on the wall. I only carry top-notch goods. Oh, never mind, I guess we're not gonna be able to talk to him. Bummer. Should we take a look and see? Do we spend some money? Get some rooms for the house, perhaps? I have to pass out from boredom. Mom's in a bad mood today. I'd steer clear. Sure, we can talk. I'm so bored I could literally have a conversation about paint drying and it would seem thrilling. I mean, seriously, have you noticed sometimes paint looks a totally different color when it's dry than when it's wet? Yep, pretty fascinating stuff. Dragonflies are so cool. I'd love to see a fire-breathing one up close if I could. Catch one on my own if my mom gave me a second to myself. Okay. See you later. Let's see. Could get a crafting license. Some small rooms. Maybe we put a little hallway on either of the front sections. I'm gonna get two of these.
Ooh, I like the bay window though. But I think we want... Yeah. Ooh, we got 500. We gotta use that up too. Okay. So we're going to... We're gonna get two hallway sections. Okay. We'll leave it at that. We'll get those worked on. We're gonna head back to the house. We're gonna start building up our mansion. We need a mansion. And if we don't need the hallway sections in the future, we will just figure something else out. I don't know. Bad part is we're gonna have to totally rearrange some stuff. That's okay. We'll have to figure it out sooner or later, right? Might as well be sooner rather than later. Here we go. No, no one's stopping by yet. So we're gonna have to move some of this stuff. We're gonna put this hallway section here. We're gonna put this... Maybe we'll put it right here by our... Uh... <laughs> Let's see, can we kinda... Yeah, we'll put it right there by our... Uh... Nope. <laughs> by our guy here. And now the worms. Where are we gonna move the worms? Then we gotta figure out where we're gonna move this stuff too, because all of this is gonna have to be moved. Yeah. Our little seedy area. You know what? Maybe we just pick it up. We'll just pick it up for right now. Come on. Gee. All right, maybe we're not picking it up. Maybe we're gonna move it. Um, we'll move it. And we'll just set it over here by these trees. Sure. Pick that one up, that one, that one. There we go. So now we can go, what is it? H for housing. This guy here, and we can add that one right there. Okay. Ooh, that's gonna be right by our window there. That's gonna be interesting. The other one's gonna be right here. That's okay, we'll figure it out. Maybe that should be, hmm, I don't know. All right, we can pick that up. Is that enough room? I don't think it's gonna be. If we grab this, we grab this, can I? Oh, we can. Okay, H, oof. Yeah, all that needs to be moved, okay. So we're gonna put the hay bale on top of here. No, we can't stack the hay bales. All right. Bummer. Let's hope we could. Maybe we'll put one over here by the uh, well. Let's see. There you go. We are gonna move this worm farm. We'll move them over a little bit. How about that? At least now they're moved. Here, maybe we can uh, place them like this. With the barrel kind of in between like that. There. What do you think? I think that looks better. Okay, let's see, what do we need here? 30 stone brick and 80 sapwood. Well, we got the 80. We, we only got two bricks. <laughs> All right, let's make, uh, 
more sapwood and some more bricks. Stone bricks. 30, we need 60 stone bricks, so that's what, 120? Yeah, so that'll, that'll get some going. Then we need, what, 20? Yeah. Go 18. That should do it, I think. And then we need some more sapwood. I'm gonna put that in there. We're gonna grab that there. Planks, right? I hope it was planks. Please tell me it was planks. Yeah, okay, good. Okay. 80 there, 80 there. It's just the other thing we're missing. Perfect. I don't know where we're gonna put the rest of this. I kind of liked my bench. Maybe we just kind of set it right there for right now. Four. Ooh, better idea. Yeah, maybe not. Do what? Yeah. Put out the lawn furniture. <laughs> it's important stuff, right? Super important. You never know. We'll even put the little stool bench thing right there for tea or whatever else. Good enough for now. So let's take a look at this sword. Uh, three. Ooh. I do like that. That's kind of cool. I feel like it needs to go right over this chest. Right there. Yeah. Shiny. I like it. I like it. We're doing a little rearranging today. <laughs> Not the best of all rearrangements, but it's something, you know? Something a little different. Been looking at the same uh, setup for too long, I think. All right, we're going to let that do its thing. Let's go talk to Zeki. And now we need a fire-breathing dragonfly. Hmm, for Kenyatta. I think she was our next closest in the um, friendship list. I know where we can find one. We'll have to see where Zeki's adventure takes us. Do -do -do. To the store. Oh, that's right. We couldn't talk to him because we're waiting for the data reset. Erg. That stinks. All right, we're gonna go catch that dragonfly. Since we just remembered that, the dragonfly is gonna be all the way over here. Really want to get a gazebo. I think they're kind of cool. We're gonna have to look into that. <laughs> I hear they're really expensive to unlock. That basically we need a bunch of plots. Ooh, we need some... Not only do we need bug bombs, but we also need to uh, buy some repair kits or make some repair kits. No fire-breathing dragonflies yet. 
Hope we'll see one. You never know, though. Nope. We'll grab these. Maybe we do some fishing while we're here. There is a uh, fishing spot over there. Maybe we'll get lucky. I mean, we gotta kind of waste this day anyways. We're kind of waiting. So we might as well have some fun. I did, what kind of worms did we put on here? Really quick. There we go. I guess I should have checked. That's my fault. Three. Yes. There we go. One koi. Here we go. Maybe we'll get something good. Or maybe we'll just get whatever this is. A Matagobi. Okay. Not the greatest things in the world, but it'll do. And we are looking for a spotted dragonfly if we happen to run across one. Nope. I think we're going to see one this time. It's feeling pretty... Pretty scarce. Which is fine. Alright. Well, bummer. Alright, who have we not talked to yet? Let's talk to Delilah. Since we do need to uh, up our friendship with her. Breath we've talked to. Hmm. Then we gotta think of who else? There's the mail. Oh, we got a letter. We'll have to check that. Hey, Delilah. Working with Armus is rewarding. The night's so smelly. The nights have been chilly as of late. Make sure to bundle up. Huh? Don't tell me about Drew. Don't tell about Drew, but I got a special sweet berry pie in the oven just for him. Don't be Aww. a stranger now. What was it that she wanted? Do we know what she wanted? Delilah. She want a fish, she want a koi. Hmm. Let's see. Koi, catfish. It's a fertilizer. Fertilizer's a thought. Hmm. Let's head back. Let's make some more bug bombs. Let's repair all of our tools. Let's talk to Hecla. Hello, friend. How may I attend to your needs? I have not yet beaten Einar at cards, but I can be patient. He has had hundreds of thousands of years to practice, and I have only been awake for two. Gina's talking about fish she would like to study called a void ray. Between you and me, they're nothing special. But I think it's best to let Gina learn that for herself. Please ensure you tell Gina hello. Will do. Good to see you. Please wait while I bookmark this page. Ahem, <clears throat> yes? Before retiring for the day, I always make sure to tidy the library. That entails dusting the tables and the shelves, sweeping the floors, and assuring each book is in its proper place. Gina and Hecla assist me with my cleaning from time to time. I could get... 
I couldn't get Kenyatta to lend a hand even if I begged. I would appreciate if this all stays between us. Of course. Alright, we're still heading home. Figured we hit those two while we were while we were on our way. We should have stopped by City Hall and talked to Ash as well. That might have been been good. That's okay though. Sell these fish. Okay. We're gonna keep the spice sprouts and put those away. There. We're gonna check the mail. Sifu! Dear Kekom Dear Kekami, I just wanted to let you know Hassan and I talked things out. We discussed how we both feel now that Tyan's gone. I haven't cried that much since I was in diapers, but it was the good kind of cry. And the best part was, Hassan didn't turn away. Usually strong emotions scare him off, but he'd actually lent, but he actually held my hand through it. I like to think the whole thing helped him too. It was kind of like I was crying for the both of us. Anyways, this is probably too much information, but I wanted to let you know how much of an impact you've had on me and my little family. Well, you're so welcome. Aww. Well, that was awfully nice. We need to go to the shrines. Because A, we haven't been there in a while, and B, we have points we need to spend. That's going to be our next goal. We're still waiting for the stone to finish up, as well as the uh, wood. So I think that's what we're gonna, where we're going to head off to next. I think that'll work. Should be easy enough, right? <laughs> Alright, so the first shrine we're going to hit is the Phoenix Shrine. Shrine. This is the one that we kind of materialized in front of. We'll call it the Human Shrine. How about that? Make sure there's nothing new hanging out over here. I think we're good though. Let's go this way. We're gonna run into, or we're gonna commune with this twice. I think two at each one. Here's one. So we'll actually get up to 85%. We'll be doing pretty good. Nope, we're just waiting for a little bit more. I think we're gonna be set, yes. There we go. And then we'll go to the Phoenix Shrine. And we can do that. Here we go. Heading over. We should level up some of our other skills, too. Oof. I think maybe we do try to talk to Hodari and Najuma, maybe even Tamala. We just don't make it over there as often as we make it to the other shrine, or to this side of the, the 
this map, I should say. I would say this zone, but it's really this map. And I think, I think it's kind of important that we try to make at least an effort to talk to them. Here we go. We will go this direction. 9 p.m. I don't think any new creatures spawn here at night. I'm just trying to see. All right, here we go. Done. 840. And we should have one more here. 850. We are done. Cool. That should take care of our renown. Yep, 102. We're doing good. Got that. Uh, Leveled back down. And then we're going to head this direction. Let's find Najuma, let's find Hodari, and we can find Tamala. Those are the three we are looking for. The three stooges over here. There's Najuma. Hi! Hi! It's kind of nice seeing more people around here. Uh, Not gonna lie, the whole humans appearing out of nowhere situation kind of gave me the heebie-jeebies. I mean, you guys are kind of like zombies. But creepy stuff can also be cool. It's not that bad. It's just dark. How have you been? Huh. You're back. Don't sleep much these days. Figured I'd stop wasting time pretending to. Oh. Okay. Say hi to Juma before you go. Guess I'm not gonna be able to chat with you more. Let us head over. Ooh, hello. We're gonna go head over to uh, Tamala then. We are going to keep our eye out for any... Hmm. Any good stuff, I guess. Paleomore. Flow trees. We're looking for all the fun stuff. Nothing new there. No uh, heat root on the side there. Okay. We shall keep running. Hopefully Tamala is, whoops, right here on the path. Yep, she is, cool. Someone's marking something over there. As much as I do want to know what it is, I think I want to talk to Tamala first. Let's get our first uh, mission done. Tamala! How enchanting to see you again. I had a feeling you'd come around sooner or later. I always wonder how many other worlds are up there in the stars. I mean, if they're a Grimalkan, who knows what other civilizations we could find in the stars. Not to mention, what sort of power those beings might possess. If you see a garden millipede wiggling by, would you mind catching it for little old me? I've been working on a special brew that requires such an ingredient. Back to the toil and trouble. <laughs> the toil and trouble. I like it. Alright, let's see what that flare is all about. Maybe we'll get something good. 
Oh, Dari cloves? Question mark? Maybe, 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 maybe. Yes. We'll take. 10,000 times we will take the Dari cloves. That was nice. That was a good marker. Hmm. What to next? Crabs. Actually, you know what? Let's go back to that little temple. I want to see some here. There was that statue. And I got a comment saying that she really walked up and chatted with it. So I think we're going to go and see what that's all about. We got there. Going this way. That's a regular. The vampire crabs, the red ones, are the ones we kind of look we're looking for. But I think we're good. Really, we need to do some more fishing here. Fishing skill could really use some help. <laughs> Make it. Yeah, we made it. Heal up just a little bit. Ooh, garlic. We'll go. Yeah, we'll go this direction. Anything up here? Nada. I think this was the easy way of uh, getting across over there, if I remember right. So I think you can just go this way. And you can loop right around the corner. Yep. Piece of cake. Perfect. So if we come around here. Yeah, someone said, oh, there's a chest. Okay. Rose matter tile, tile floor, an ancient treasure chest. Respects paid are returned in kind. Okay. My wisdom was found in the earth. My wisdom was found in the stars. My wisdom was found in the sea. My wisdom was found in the ruins. Okay. Then there's this. Oh, we got this guy. Search the vase. Okay. Old coin. I don't remember seeing that. Oh. There's the, uh, sound. What do you think it is? I'll have to figure out this old coin thing, too. And we got a new flooring! Let's see. Not around that way. Grove spawn. Cliff north of bluffs. Bluffs. Thorny thicket. Primer pass. Uh, northwest of Proudhorn. Where's Proudhorn? Oh. North, east, west. Okay. So I think if we go straight, we'll find it. Hopefully. Let's see. Proudhorn. Northwest. I think it'd be like... There it is. Yep. Let's hope we find the rare bug. Doubt we will, but you never know. Maybe we'll get lucky. Oh, here we go. We'll grab one here. There's one. Let's 
two, three, four, five, six, okay. Bummer, nothing else. I guess we can grab that. I think someone's following us. Okay. Yeah, it would definitely be here. Try taking them all. Check this out. Huh. Is someone gonna say something? Ooh. Hmm. Now I'll grab our loot, but. Chop them all down now. That one. Which direction are they going? I guess we're going this way. Cool. Got that one. Next. Whee. Is that all of them? I think that's it. All right. Let's head. Oh, we might as well just head back to the house. We'll turn in what we got. Hey, we got a hundred of uh, these guys already. Check this out. Another hundred. Seven. Put that away. Put that away. Put some stones away. The garlic. The leaf. Sure. One of those. And we got a new flooring. Let's check out this flooring. What does this look like? Seven. We're just waiting for Zaki. <gasps> Ooh. So instead of blue, we have red. How does the red look against? It's not too bad. It's a little bright. I kind of like the blue. Hmm. Red, not red, red. I think we'll wait. Okay, let's go see. Let's see how we're doing here. 
How are we doing on the planks? Oh, we got plenty of planks. We aren't worried about the planks. How are we doing on the... Boy, we got a long way to go. Okay. Got ten. I may just put another hundred in there. We'll just get you guys going. Maybe it'll go a little faster that way. Right? It's got to, right? Uh, let's go find Zeki. Let's do the let's do his level 4 friendship quest. Grab a quick drink. All right, let's go. And we're off. Gina. Ooh, let's go talk to Gina. Maybe Gina knows about the coin. Before we talk to Zeki. Does if anyone's going to know, really know about the coin? I have the feeling it's going to be Zeki. But I figured, hey, you know, maybe Gina will be able to give a little more insight on it. I'm curious to hear what she's going to have to say. Oh, Einar, we can ask all sorts of people. Shoot. I hope this doesn't turn into the, um, what was the one thing we found? It's like a bone or something. Yeah. Or we had to choose who we were going to give it to. Oh, that was awful. Hey, Gina. Hope you settled in without much trouble. Glad you stopped by. I was wondering how you were doing. Hey, I found an old coin. Oh, let me see. Yes, that's a standard ancient human coin. The Institute has a few thousands, so we keep the really special ones now. Oh, we only keep the really special ones now. But common ones have become popular collector's items. Why don't you ask Zeki about his? Okay. Hecla's already translated a few of the old books from the library. One of them is a really fascinating read about the morality of Galdrics. Really? Another is a book of love poetry. Let me know if you want to read it sometime. Up your time. Okay. Ooh, if she's translating the books, I wonder. Hmm. I wonder if that's gonna go into the lore a little bit more. Now that's really what I'm thinking. You know, if um, maybe Hecla find, tells Gina about a book or something, I could see this going all over. Here's my speculations. <laughs> ah, it's fun stuff, though. Whee! Do we try talking to Einar? It's a human coin. He might have some insights. We need to talk to Zeki anyways to do his friendship quest. I think he's going to be the proper person to talk to. I just, I really want to see what they have to say. Sometimes you get a little bit more flavor, you know? And we can level up friendships while we're at it, which is always good. Although we really should have talked to Hecla. Oh well. We'll make it work. We will make it work. Hey, Nar. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Welcome. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Humans are both ancient and new at the same time. Fascinating. Hey, I found an old coin. Indeed. Ancient humans traded these bits of metal for goods and services. Perhaps there's someone today like a salesman who still sees monetary value in this. I do not understand what Majri or humans mean when they discuss the concept of work. I do what I do for pleasure and for fulfillment of my oneness. Is this not what all beings do? Unfortunately, not all beings. I feel bad. I feel badly for beings who must work. So do I. I could not bear to spend so much time away from my oneness. I think there are many more fish who wish to be caught. <laughs> all the fish in the sea, buddy. Let's go talk to Ash. 
If you're gonna walk in front of me and we aren't level four yet, guess what? We're talking. I'll do what I can, but what I'm only one woman. What is it? I rise at two every morning. No earlier, no later. Why? Because that's the time for taxes to be collected, and I'm the only one who can do it. The taxes will be there after sunrise. Ooh. Need I remind you that I'm busy after sunrise? There are mountains of paperwork for me to sort through. Now, unless you are volunteering to go through them for me, keep your judgments to yourself. Oh, how thrilling it is to converse with a non-moron. All right. We are non-morons. Our status has now officially been elevated to non-moron status. <laughs> I highly doubt that. Zaki, where are you? Quit sleeping. Buddy. I want to be your friend. <laughs> Man. again? Yeah, every time Ani comes in, he tells me how skilled of a bug catcher you've become under his tutelage. If my sister hears of this, she'll undoubtedly seek an apprenticeship under him. Frankly, I'm concerned about what havoc those two would wreak together. Oh, it'd be Remember, sheer fun. Keep your voice at a whisper. You gotta have, have more fun, Solari. Alright, what time do we think Zeki gets up? Noon? One, five, we'll wait. I'll check on my rocks. Man. I don't want to, but we will. Let's see. Uh, pebbles and stuff. We're good there. Five more here. Forty. Hey, we can get one going. Forty-five. Two seventeen. Yeah, we're good. Let's get this one going. Eighty and... Come on. Thirty. Confirm. How long is this going to take? Two hours. All right. Hmm, so we're at 15. We need another 15. Yeah, this is going to be weird having this in, I, on our uh, house here. We're going to have to think about how we're going to do this. But I definitely want to upgrade and make this much, much larger. We need some room. Alright, it's 6 a.m. It's officially morning. The day has begun. Seki should be hopefully up. If not, I don't know. Who haven't we talked to yet? Go talk to. We'll, we'll take a look at our... Um, if he's not up, we'll take a look at our friendships. I think that's what we'll do. That should work. Yep, he's still sleeping. All right, who do we need to make friends with? So Larry's doing pretty good. Delilah, we gotta increase hers a little bit. Jelly Kenley, Kenyatta. We can talk to Kenyatta and Rath. Sabira's still at level two. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Maybe we just go down the line till we uh, see him. Let's go find Delilah, and we'll just kind of make our way down the, down the way, down the way here. I mean, I'll be nice enough and let him sleep. seen one of those uh, fireflies, you know, or not fireflies, but 
Spitfire um, dragonflies yet. Now that I think about it, I've seen a few other things, but not one of those. I hey. can always make room at the table for one more. Just so you know, our doors are always open for you. If you want to make the freshest custards, I suggest raising your own animals for milk and eggs. Not only can you better control the quality that way, but nothing tastes as good as dinner made with ingredients from your own farm. Aww. Our chats get me through the hard times. It's a good thing Would you, you like. By. Have we given you anything? No. Would you like one of this? How about some apple jam? Aw, a gift. How thoughtful of you. Don't You're welcome. be a stranger now. We haven't used nearly enough of it today. And we got more of it cooking, so might as well. There's Reth. Maybe we'll talk to Reth. We'll give him this masala, I guess. I guess I can take a little break. I see that look on your face. You're up to no good, aren't you? You know me. So I had to swing by the library to grab this cookbook I put on hold, and I swear, I think Soleri might be a statue. I've never seen her leave the front desk. Or is she a super, super realistic golder? The world may never know. Tish has got a real sweet tooth. Best way to get on her good side is with a berry pie. Not that it's hard to get on her good side. Would you like a uh, chop masala? Nice, this is just what I needed. Thanks. You're welcome. Need a break from my charming smile? Always. It's just too charming. <laughs> the smile is too much to handle. Gel we're max friends with. Ashira we're max friends with. Subira. Let's go talk to Subira. Don't really have anything for her. I wonder if she'll take jam. Maybe she'll have some jam. Hello. Yes. It was a risk asking you to join this investigation. One that I would gladly take again, given the chance. You have been an invaluable asset. Well, you're welcome, I guess. Would you like some fluid? The order could always use additional supplies like this for our missions. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. It's okay. Still don't trust you. <laughs> but I will level up the friendship. We will do that. Whew. The lighting up here is always so weird. Hmm. Zeki! You're awake! About time, buddy. We're gonna find you. I have to sneak through every back alley. I'll find you. Where are you hiding? You're over here somewhere. There you are. Hey, Zeki. You're growing on me, pal. Today's the day, pal. Not just any day, but your day. You're a really intense kid. Always asking questions. Always wanting to chat about this and that. Kind of like Ani. You know, if you hadn't had time to shoot the breeze with them, you probably should. But both of you have that crazy fire-type energy. Hmm. Found an old coin. Hot diggity, you found one too? Tell you what, since you and me seem to have similar interests, let me let you in on a secret, something I found. One day, I'm in Bahari Bay looking for a few more of those babies. The collector's market's real hot right now, you know? when I see a bunch just sitting there under this phoenix statue. I hate to say curiosity got the better of me. I stuck a coin in its mouth and it spat this paper right out, just like my lucky machine. Too bad I can't read it, unless you can. Let's read Zeki's paper. No mere flesh can withstand the ravages of time. Wow, you think it's a fortune teller? Human civilization did collapse and all. But there's got to be more to it. Uh, hmm. Maybe we ought to work together. Just find a few more coins, drop them in the bird's mouth, and we'll both come out on top. What do you say? Sounds good. 
Would you like some chapa masala? Mm. You trying to press me? Well, you gotta try harder than that if you want me to be impressed. I'll see you soon, all right? All right. Are we friends now? Why can't we be friends? Well, Why don't you like me? It isn't Killam's newest entrepreneur. Nah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't want that. Okay, fine. You want this? No. Would you like this? Ah. What else do we got? How about this? All right, fine. Thanks for the visit, pal. Apparently, he doesn't. He doesn't want to be my friend. That's so sad. I thought that would have uh, certainly been it. All right, let's gather three coins, get and read three Phoenix fortunes. We got one coin. Oh, we got a marker. Oh wait, here. Let's talk to Hecla. Hecla might be able to give us a coin. Maybe she has something. Grab the spice sprouts along the way. Just in case. We don't get too many of them. I've seen less and less of them. So I do want to make sure we have a supply in case we ever need them. Hecla. Let's chat about coins. I have been longing to speak with you. Greetings, human. Hey, I found an old coin. My Gina has come across a number of these coins in her field studies. It's unlikely she'll have use for another. Perhaps there's another coin collector who'd appreciate it. Yeah? Have you yet found the vault where I was first awakened? It's just so over the hill over there. My master's things are no longer in the area. Well, besides me. I suppose I'm still one of her things, even though she's no longer living. Watch out for my Gina, would you? Okay, you don't have a coin. 804 this direction. Alright, let's go this direction. Ooh, look at that. It's like a drill. I don't remember this being here. The little escape hatch. Interesting. And the pick, this is all kind of new. <gasps> Look! There's a waves uh, thing here, too. Huh. Well, isn't that new and different? What is... Hmm. Interesting. All right, let's see if we can find this coin. 500. We can do it. We're getting there. I think it's just going to take us right to the, uh, yeah, the gate to the other, to Bahari Bay. I think that that's what that's pointing us to. Which is fine. Hey, Hodari. You to talk to Here me today? Huh. Just stopping by for lunch. Mm. Seki tried to sell me a non-flow powered grill the other day. Oh, sell me on a flow powered grill. Some things you just don't cheat. Say hi to Juma before you go. So is he a charcoal griller or does he use, uh, is he a gas griller? 
That's kind of kind of what that felt like. That conversation, you know? And it's funny, people are usually in like one camp or the other. There's benefits to both, in my opinion, but yeah. Anyways, that was a tangent. <laughs> Motion sickness. All right, so we got there and there. All right, let's go. Didn't we just run into you? Whee! Oh, it's in this area? We in the... Oh, man. Let's see. I'm pretty sure it's in that flooded fortress area. We're probably gonna have to search that that general spot again. Easy enough, but still. Let's take a look at what we get. Or, you know, what we find at least. One of three old coins. Hmm. Let's go down. Whee! I think this is the direction we need to go. This should get us there. I hope. Yep. Alright. So, there's one kind of looks like in the water. Quest objective and search this area. Alright, let's search this area. Maybe we'll get lucky. 40, 30, 10, 80, 70, 70. Oh, what's up there? Are they telling us to... Yeah, this is kind of cool. Screenshots and stuff. All right, we may have to go up. Hmm. Search this area for the coins. All right. Ooh, hello. We shall search. Go this direction. I, mean, I guess we'll kind of wander around here. We'll see if we can find some. See anything on any of those? I do not. Okay. We'll kind of continue our our path. Looks like we got another one here. I will not complain. Okay. No coin there. Good for right now. Nope, nothing down there. Hmm. Yeah, I think that flag there is just telling us that we need to go and turn in the, the, the coin. I wonder if we... I'm just gonna look around here for a little bit. Maybe we turn the one in, right? Drop coin and slot. Fortune number one. Let's read our first fortune. Inventory. Quest. Can we read it? For millennia, humankind has searched for the keys to immortality. Okay. 
28 this way. Oh, maybe it's going to tell us where to go now. No. It's just going to tell us to search the area. Man. chest up there. Maybe there's a coin. I see another face over there. Maybe we go... Yeah, we're gonna have to go check that out. Okay. We'll go up this way. What is that glowing over there? Okay. Yeah, this is what I saw here. Search! One coin. Yay, we got another coin. Let's see, can we make it? Yeah, we can make it. Boom. Alright. What's fortune number two? Fortune number two says, Finally, after much sacrifice, our intrepid researchers have found a solution deep in the heart of the forest. Really, a solution to the keys of immortality, huh? Hmm. I mean, maybe. We are here. Is there another one? We're looking for another vase, I think. They seem to be in vases. Maybe in one of these? Can we go up? Thinking it would be hidden, you know. Maybe along these lines. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't be the first time. Oh, hey, we made it. I think we can make it up. Oh, hey, there it is. Just look down. Oh, no, 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 We almost didn't make it. There's three coins. Can we get three fortunes? We gotta get back up to the top and loop around again. All right, I think we got it. I think we actually got this one. I'm surprised we figured it out. I'll be honest. We're not the best at figuring these out sometimes. All right, ready? And we'll go. Make it around the wall. Come on. Three, two, one. Yes. So humans have been searching for immortality. They found the key in the forest. Fortune three. Here, we'll just read it. For millennia, humankind have searched for the key to immortality. Finally, after much sacrifice, our intrepid researchers have found a solution deep in the heart of the forest. Dr. Fortuna's all-natural mushroom-infused age-defying multivitamin is now available at your store near you. Present this coupon to save 10% on your first bottle. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's pretty funny. It's awful, but funny. All right, 
Let's go talk to Zeki. Let's go tell him what we found. He's gonna get a kick out of this. Zeki, buddy, you won't believe it. I don't think you're gonna believe it. Ugh. That is hilarious. Oh, hey, look at this. Don't mind if I do. Thank you much. Najuma around. Yep, I think she's gonna be right over here. Look at that. Sounded like a dragonfly. Yep. You shouldn't sneak up on people who make explosives. True. My dad's not home right now. What do you need? I'm glad we're friends. Things could get a bit lonely before you humans came along. Let's talk to Zeki. We got the coins. You wouldn't believe it. <laughs> Boy, that was actually pretty funny. That was a good quest. I liked it. That was a really good quest. Hopefully he'll be my friend now. Zeki, be my friend. We want to be pals. Right, pal? Or do I have to make you fish? I'll make you fish. Yeah, we'll go this way. Might as well. Hmm. Hey, buddy, guess what? What you buying? Got something interesting to tell me? Here's the rest of the message. <laughs> ha! We got taken in by an advertisement. If this person were still alive, I would downright applaud their business savvy. But thanks to you, I have now got a few new flyer ideas. Why don't you take this here as a token of my appreciation, and think of me when you buy yourself something. And think of me when you buy yourself something nice. Love Let's you. circle back soon. Are we friends now? No, we are not. We are not friends. But I will take the coin. And what did we get? We got eggs. All right. Well, so much for that. Let's head back to the house. We're gonna drop some of this stuff off. See how things are going. Maybe we can get the other um, building completed. Or at least started. That way it's ready for next time. Okay. Let's see, what do we got here? Yes, we got it. 21. 
And 21. I'm going to save the rest of the rocks. They can go there. We got some weeds in the garden. As always. Whoops. We got tomatoes that we just... Okay. Eh, might as well. We're here. bunch of tomatoes and some seeds. Perfect. Maybe, maybe not. But we'll make it work, right? Let's get this one going. 80 and 30. Confirm. Sweet. Now that all of that is done, we'll see what our Kitsu has. Here we go. More slow down arrows for us. Perfect. Alrighty. So today was kind of chock filled with all sorts of things. We did Ashura's um, level four quest. We did Sifu's. Um, gotta figure out what's going on with Zeki and why we can't, why we can't trigger his, um, his level four friendship quest. So that's a little interesting. But anyways, Aside from that, I thought this was a really great 50th episode. So, with that, I hope you guys have a really great rest of your day. And I will catch you guys next time. Goodbye! Thank you so much for watching my video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more content as it greatly helps out my channel. Hope to see you soon!